Hi, this is Pastor Greg, coming to you maybe not live, but alive, alive with hope and anticipation of all the opportunities we have to be God's people in the world. This Sunday, October 13th, our gospel lesson comes to us from Mark, the 10th chapter, beginning at verse 17. And it is the familiar account of the rich young ruler coming and asking Jesus, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He doesn't really like Jesus' answer. But you know, he has an interesting question. What must I do? There is nothing that we can do to inherit eternal life. It comes to us completely free through the gift of Jesus Christ, his cross and resurrection all done for us. But his question is still interesting nonetheless. He seems like a pretty good guy. You know, his eyes are set on religious matters. His eyes are set on eternal life and doing good deeds. Nothing wrong with that. He had the look of a seeker. He seemed willing to listen and learn. He seemed like a disciple in the making and a prime candidate to be a disciple in training. And it seems like his certificate was almost signed. But he says, Jesus, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus says, well, go and sell all that you have and give it to the poor. And the man went away. That's sad. That's the sad part of the story. He went away. He couldn't do that. But really, it's not about the selling of his goods and giving them to the poor. Jesus is getting at anything that stands in the way of the relationship that we have with God is a problem. So every time that we come to worship, when we enter the doors for worship, when we come, we should never leave the same. Every time we come to church, every encounter we have with the Lord, we should be changed in some way as we serve our neighbors in the name of Jesus. And this rich young ruler, he came with all the right ideas, but he went away. He couldn't do it. Following Jesus is a tough thing to do. But again, it's not about necessarily selling all we have and giving to the poor. Those are all good things. But it's all about anything that stands in the way of our relationship. When we come to worship, when we are in the presence of the Lord, when we come, we should never leave unchanged. Thanks be to God for loving us as we come and letting us change to be more like his people as we go.